follow up now to a story we've been on top of since last weekend, a missed court deadline that could cost the state of Rhode Island millions of dollars. There were developments on two fronts today. A judge granted the state's request for a 10-day stay in the case, giving them more time to work on a settlement. Meantime, Governor Gina Raimondo announced a number of new policies to hold state employees more accountable. Iowa News reporter Kate Walsh joins us now live from the mobile newsroom. Kate? Well, Mike and Shannon, Governor Raimondo said earlier today she's pushing for a system based more on merit than the number of years spent on the job. And she outlined four key ways she plans to hold state employees more accountable. Governor Raimondo making big changes immediately to the way Rhode Island holds state employees accountable. These are problems that um, are in many ways a result of a culture that has existed in state government for decades. The most recent problem sparking this announcement, a lawyer for the state who missed a deadline to appeal a court decision, potentially costing state taxpayers millions of dollars. That lawyer resigned. I want you to know we're not just going to chalk this off to a couple of um, rogue employees who didn't do the right thing. We're going to hold everybody accountable. Here's how the administration plans to do that. Starting July 1st, all lawyers representing the state must provide proof they're in good legal standing. Already underway, random audits of state employees to make sure they have proper licenses and certifications. Policies will be clarified to allow supervisors to discipline or fire unprofessional employees. And all new state employees will have to formally acknowledge they're responsible for being licensed. Additionally, the governor's senior legal counsel is spending the next 30 days looking into all litigation that could cost the state over $100,000 to make sure it is all in order. Live in Providence tonight, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.